There's the motion in the ocean I was looking for. On this episode, we will visit Suzanne Island, an active military base with limited public access. The city of Vlor and its port is Albania's closest point of entry to Italy, specifically Italy's heel of the boot. While the title of Albania's largest island sounds impressive, Cezanne Island is in fact only five square kilometers. Because Cezanne Island remains as an active military base, its access to the public is limited to only 10 weeks of the year in a joint effort between Albania's Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Tourism. Besides the relaxing one-hour ferry ride from Flor to Cezanne, the highlight for visitors coming to the island is climbing from the shore to the abandoned military base. Those are just two of the many bunkers that still remain along Albania's coastline from the previous Hoja communist regime. As pretty as Cezanne is, it remains an active military base. As is required, a member of the Navy is checking the passenger list. That's okay. That's okay. Well, that didn't take long. Almost immediately after debarking from the ferry and beside the port, a relic from a deserted military base on Cezanne Island. Who thinks this military vehicle has more character rusting away than it did when it was originally active. What, what are we fishing for? Just for relaxing. Anything good for the catch of the day? Uh, no. Oh, like an exit. <laughs> We are not expecting to catch big, big fish here. It's a relatively easy hike on Suzanne Island from its port to the abandoned military base about 20 minutes away atop the hill. Okay, let's, uh, let's have some fun checking out these bunkers. The bunkers are Albania's constant reminder of the uh, Stalinist era in which the country was engulfed during the reign of Enwar Hoxha. Remaining still are tens of thousands of bunkers throughout the country when the mentality was Albania versus the rest of the world. Bunker. Blackberry. Brunch. Good trade for the climb up the hill. Albania regained the control of Cezanne Island following the end of World War II. Cezanne remained as an active military base and town until it was decommissioned in 1997. Halfway up the hill to the abandoned military base is Cezanne's school. Even if, after a quarter century, the building has aged, I can't imagine how much better it was during its heyday. Just about everything has been stripped and removed from the school. This is Grim. One of the few artifacts remaining is this desk. And given that the school, along with the rest of the town, was decommissioned in the late 90s, this really is a relic. While I always carry with me 
an emergency set of tweezers, even I am reluctant to touch, let alone sit on this bench. Power hates a vacuum, so Mother Nature has stepped in since the dramatic decrease of human activity on Cezanne Island. I can't imagine these pretty pink flowers were here when Cezanne had an active military town. The benefit to a decommissioned military base is that it allows nature to take over. Cezanne Island is part of the only marine national park Albania has, and this is closest to the city of Vlor. Cezanne Island was initially established by the Italians as a military base over a century ago before the start of World War I. While the Italians have long since left, traces of their presence still remain. Amongst the rubble, rust, and general decay of these fractured and abandoned buildings, the Italians' presence still remains. These architectural features and touches are what I was told to look for to determine which buildings on Cezanne were Italian built. In contrast to the Italian constructed buildings and their fading colors and architectural creativity, here would be two examples of buildings built by Albanians. Lacking any charm or details, Stalinist would be the best way to describe this architectural design. Barely functional, I think, would be complimentary. I wonder if these empty liquor bottles were actually left over from 25 years ago. Wow. Well, based on the quantity of bottles and the dust that, uh, that has accumulated on these discards, yeah, they could very well have been left over from the late 90s. Uh, up until now, I, uh, I wasn't concerned about the holes in my shoes, which I purchased a month ago, but uh, I suppose this is where I need to uh, tread lightly. Left behind was this hulking stove, but they did take the kitchen sink. So, to review the architecture on Cezanne Island, pretty, sturdy, red brick constructed by cheerful Italians. In contrast, drab, crumbling, gray, concrete, built by Stalinist Albanians. They, uh, they even took the concrete steps from a decommissioned military base on Cezanne Island along the coast of Albania. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. You know, from this angle, those bunkers, they, uh, they almost look like Galapagos tortoises.